going on guys we're back with another, with another video this week this video is going to be you see from the from, from the title we're going to be talking on my cut talking about some new updates and i'm going to do a partial book vlog book book review i guess i don't know so starting off before even all that my cat's going to walk into my room hey winnie um, I want to show off these gym shorts that I got. Now, I don't know if they're gym shorts because they're like really short, but like they're very comfortable around the house. So check them out. So they show, oh my goodness, they show off my quads like, I don't know, like, like super well. Oh yeah. But they are very short. I think there's like three inch inseams. I got these at H&M. So yeah, I don't know. Like a leg day, this the, the, I feel like these would be amazing, but might pop a berry or something. You know, I don't want people, I don't need people seeing that. You know, um, so that's that. I really like them. I warmed to bed last night. They're super comfortable. Second update. Check these out. So, it, the video's not out yet. Video's not out yet because I recorded it on my gopro um i lost my sd card uh adapter i got a new one but the file is like damn, the files are so big i just haven't had time to like move over the files onto my main computer this is where i do my editing on this computer but i do have my laptop check out the new show i'm watching <laughs> um super excited um i do all my editing on that but um this is the only thing that has an sd card thing so i'd have to try to transfer over like 50 gigs of stuff onto my laptop and ssd whole stuff so i'm working on it i do have a hiking video coming out soon uh, me and my friend chase hiked um haystack basin and sawtooth um upstate new york adirondacks super fun super awesome video look out for that but basically i broke my boots I broke my boots. They were $40 Walmart boots that I had for like two years. Um, I don't know how they lasted so long, but the soles came off mid hike or like at the end of the hike. So I'm like, I gotta invest in new ones. I got these ones, Timberlands. They're waterproof, 100, 100 smackers, 100 smackers. Uh, I, I paid for them. Winnie's on my bed now. Um, Yeah, I love them, honestly. So. I'm excited. We're going hiking again this weekend. Um, I'll try to get some footage and get a video out eventually. Maybe I'll make one big hiking video. Who knows? Like an hour long video of me hiking. Pretty sweet. She's trying to jump into my air conditioner. Hey. Knock it off, you rat. Okay. Next thing. Going into my cut. So, let's get to that. Okay. So. I'm going to post pictures right here. Bing. They're going to be somewhere in the screen right now. So this is these are pictures of when I started my cut. Uh, I'm only a week in, so um, we're doing good. I started at 197 body weight. Um, I don't know my body fat percentage. If I had to guess, maybe like 20-something, maybe low 20s. Mid to, I don't know. I don't measure my body fat percentage. I just do like how I look and how I feel. Um, I've stayed pretty lean throughout my bulk. Um... Here are some pictures of before my bulk, when I started, when I ended my last cut, which was like two months ago. I think I put on about 15 pounds. Um, and I think my body fat percentage didn't go up much. So I, I did a good job at lean bulking, honestly. Um, I got my calories pretty low. I ate pretty good food. Um, yeah, it's been a journey, honestly, just trying to figure out like like the difference between trying to eat like really good versus only eating like kind of good if you if, if that makes any sense like you can eat 100 percent clean every day of the week but you're gonna drive yourself insane right eating just like chicken salmon rice greens and stuff like you gotta have a pizza you gotta throw pizza in there you gotta throw donut in there like me and my friend dominic we love getting um Boston cream donuts from Dunkin'. We call them just Boston creamers. You got you got to throw in a Boston creamer every now and then. Um, you can't go without that. That helps the, helps the sanity. She is playing with my backpack now. Knock it off. 
Eight. Knock it off. My cat is a monster. Whatever. She can do whatever she wants. Um, got some new deodorant for the gym. I felt like I was sweating and smelling like balls in the gym. So I got that. Um, she's, I don't know. I just, I had like, I was cleaning trash this morning. So I have a garbage bag in the middle of my room. Um, and she's inside of it now. She's weird like that. She's weird like that. Um, actually, let's look at this. Let's look at this. One second. So, hope you can see these. So this is, I weigh myself every morning. So you can see at the beginning of my, so like 185.5, 189.5 is March, 2022. And I started my, when I started my bulk, um, I think this was like 185. I think I had like a big dinner that night or something. Um, that's, that's honestly, that's my biggest thing is so I eat, um, I like to save my calories for the end of the day and just like eat like 1500 calories in one sitting at, for dinner. Um, so it makes my weigh-ins a little un inconclusive in the morning because I still have five pounds of food in my stomach. Um, but yeah, um, I do it every night, so it's it's still like pretty, you know, consistent. 185.5, um, these are like my week averages, so you can see when I was bulking, 2850 calories is what I was doing. 191.6, 182.9, 185.1, 185.2, so like pretty steady growth. I stopped averaging. Um, I figured I was on like a good, I figured I was on a good, um, cycle here. So I kept going and then, uh, when I, once I hit 199, two times, I decided that I'm like, okay, I want to start cutting. So that's where we are now. Um, you've seen the pictures of that. I'm hoping to get down to 180 and then see where, then see where I want to go. I want, eventually I want to be back down to like 170 cause that's like, I'm 5'8". I, sh I shouldn't be 200 year round. Like that's, I don't need to be that much. So we're gonna get back down to that and go from there. Okay, we're gonna get back down to 180 and see how I feel. I might have to do like a little like baby bulk in the middle, who knows? Um, just so I don't like, you know, lose all of my, I'll lose all of my gains. Um, feeling good though, had a crazy leg day yesterday. It was it was nice. It was nice. I don't know if I've ever mentioned it on this channel, but I have like really bad ankles, like mobility wise. Um, but I squatted for the first time in like six months without lifting shoes, like raised heel, without back pain. First time in like months, and I love it. Honestly, fantastic. Um, yeah, I can't wait to update you guys next time. Um, maybe in like a month on my cut and see where I'm at. But we're gonna go into my book review now. I wasn't gonna do this, but I've been reading this book recently and I love it. And I think you guys need, you've probably heard of it. You need to read it, okay? Be right back. Okay, we're here. This is the book. This is the original cover. Okay, you've probably seen this TikTok somewhere around before. The subtle art of not giving a frick. I am, let's see what page am I on right now? I'm on page 115 right now, out of like probably 200 or something. I, on this channel, never, I don't think I've done a book review before. I'm going to be honest. This book is amazing. It is fantastic. And I'd like to go through, once I finish it, I'm going to go through and um, point, make another video about it and point out like the key parts that I, um, the key things that I like about it. But I'm telling you. This, hold on, let me fix my lighting. I'm getting too much light right now. Okay, this book is amazing. Sorry, my GoPro's yelling at me right now. Saying like it's oh, low battery, uh, 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 shut up, I'm tired too, okay? Um, it's made me realize so many things about myself, even in the two days I've been reading it, honestly, that like, I can't, I, I have no words. I have no words right now. It just, it, it talks about, so the, 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 all right, 
Alright. Alright, I didn't plan out what I was gonna say, but I'm but the one thing that this book does is gives you a an aspect on life where you're responsible for your own happiness. You're responsible for your own sadness. You're responsible for any emotion that comes through your body. You are responsible for that because it's happening within you, right? You're not at fault. Like somebody made you mad, they made you mad. They were at fault for making you mad, but you are responsible for being mad. You're responsible for the emotions that come along with that. And no matter what it is, you are responsible for any emotions that you come that, that come through your body. And in those emotions come with basically different like metrics that you're using to measure your success, your happiness in life. Is that like, like maybe you're not happy because you don't work out, right? Why? Why do you feel the need to work out? Well, I, like, I feel better when I do. So why don't you do it? Right? You know, it's, it's, it's literally about I'm sad because I don't run a marathon every week, right? Why do you feel that you need to run a marathon every week? Because like, I just feel like that's what I need to do to be happy, right? So setting your goal, like not setting your goal too high, but setting your metric high is the reason that you're not happy in that, in, in that specific instance. I may be explaining this like really poorly, which I probably am, but nonetheless, set it, it depends on where you set your metric and I'm not saying to settle for anything and I'll talk about this more in like my in-depth review of this book. I freaking love it. That's just, I guess, one little thing. So there you go. One little snippet from this book, organ, um, explained extremely poorly. Um, I guess you're gonna have to read the book to get a better explanation. Because he, Mark Manson does a very good job. He explains it very well. Um, and he gives it like a lot of real life examples. Um, not, the kind of examples that uh, Nick can give in his room when he's honestly pretty hungry. Um, and just kind of, this is coming off the dome right now. I want to show you another book that I bought. So I bought, I see him all over my like Instagram and For You page and stuff. David Goggins, um, Can't Hurt Me. I haven't, read it, I haven't read it yet, but I know he's like awesome. So I'm gonna read that next. Um, um, I have so many books that I'm reading. I'm, right now I'm also reading this book. I took a break because I wanted to read other books. It gets kind of like boring after a while. Like it's still good information, but it gets kind of boring. What, what else? Oh, I read this book. Um, cause I'm going to Greece in August. Uh, I'll have a video about that when I do it. Um, but yeah, I'm reading Greek. Honestly, I really like learning different languages. So, or so far at least I do. So I might make that a series. Anyway, um, that's enough of me babbling and going off on different tangents. The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Frick. Not Giving a Fudge. Read it. It's good. I don't have an affiliate link in my bio, but just buy it. Borrow it from someone. drink your water. I don't know. That's it. That's all I got for you. Cool shorts, new hiking boots. I'm hyped, hyped, hyped for my cut. Honestly, I, honestly, I'm going to be honest. Last time I hiked, I was bulking. Okay. It was like, it was a week and a half ago. Well, last time I hiked, I was bulking. Now I'm cutting. So like, all I got to do is just hike. I burn like 10,000 calories. Boom. Super cut. Right. Anyway, there's that book I'm reading. It's fantastic. And I'm watching Neon Genesis Evangelion. That is on my episode three and it's freaking lit. Um, also, by the way, I don't, I, I want to share it on Spotify, but if you see this, I have a playlist on Spotify. I'm going to make public as soon as I stop recording this. Um, it's called Hack Squats. It is just a bunch of hard style, like, anime motivational um music that i listen to while i do hack squats and like other like fighting for my life uh exercises in the gym check it out it's honestly a banger um i love it honestly so catch you guys 
in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. Oh, goodness. Comment your ideal burrito fillings, okay? Tortilla and then what goes inside. I want to know, okay? That's all I got for you. Catch you guys in the next one. Hope you're liking the GoPro. I love it, honestly. Deuces.